What it is, everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Happy Saturday to everybody. Hope y'all having a blessed day today, man. Today I'm going to the mall to check out the Air Jordan 5 satin bread. Let's 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 see what that's all about. My daughter always yelling in the background. Anyway, man, today I'm just going with the heel figure hoodie. Got some olive distressed pants action going on. And I'm going to hit y'all with them maroon things. Whoa that, whoa, that color off. That color off. Too bright. Anyway, y'all know what maroons look like. Hitting y'all with the maroons today. Um, I'm going to throw them on now as we speak. Uh, but you know, what y'all think about the fives, man? Y'all comment below and tell me what you think about the fives. Have you seen them in hand yet? I'm looking forward to going to check them out. I actually, to be perfectly honest with you, hold up, can y'all see me? I'm putting my shoes on, man. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, man, I don't know if I'm copying. Just, just by looking at them online, I'm like, bro, do I need another black and red? I mean, I can't really say that. Do I need another black and red shoe? Because if it was an OG, of course. I'd be on it. Some MJ actually rocked in the game. I'd be like, let me go ahead and cop them things because black and red is my favorite uh, color combination. But, my bad, I'm putting my shoes on them. But, uh, y'all hear my daughter in the back? I think she's saying her ABCs. That's what I'm talking about, boo. Go ahead. Anyway, uh, what y'all think about them, man? Like, y'all going after them? Like I said, they alright, I feel like, but it's just uh, a satin shoe, man. It seems like if you snag it on something, it'll pull and put a rip down the side of it or something like that. I don't know. I never owned any kind of satin sneakers. I don't think anyway. Oh, I had those um I had those pinnacle uh Jordan Sixes, the green ones, and they were kind of like that satin shiny material. I got rid of them. I just after a while I just looked at them like, bruh, I ain't finna be rocking these shoes like that. But anyway. Uh, I got some shades right here. Got some low action. It's cool in my city, man. It's getting cool out there, bro. It's like uh, 40 degrees right now. 39, 40 degrees. We're going to go with them today. We're going to go with them Carrera things, man. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and check out these Air Jordan 5. They head to the mall um, and see what else they got, too. See if anything else released. Um, do it. Let's go. All right, man. What's going on in the whip? Headed to the mall, bro. Uh, I got a quick question for y'all, man. I just want to know what y'all think about this. Um, who's winning this year, man? Who is winning? What brand is winning? Is Jordan brand winning? Look, I put Jordan brand and Nike together. That's just me. I know a lot of people don't do that. Turn that down just a little bit. There we go. So I, um, I put those in the same box, Jordan brand and Nike. Um, but I guess you can split them up. But who's winning? Uh, Adidas is Adidas winning is Jordan brand winning is Nike winning we're gonna split them up just for argument's sake um, who's winning this year man who is winning the sneaker ranks who's at the top man who y'all got at the top of the ranks is uh, winning for 2018 man um, to me obviously I feel like it's Jordan brand but that's just not because Jordan brand is taking L's too but it's not really L's when you talk about Jordan brand when they when they have shoes that don't sell out and they go to the outlet that's not really an L for them you know what I'm saying they still make money out of those kicks but I'm thinking about um, all the dope stuff that they've released this year, man. They just been coming with some heat. They had a couple of fumbles, man, by not putting laces in the uh, uh, Fresh Prince Bel Air fives. A um, couple of things they they just did, I didn't really agree with. But for the most part, I think Jordan Brand is is they 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 kind of they kind of shine shine this year. Uh, what else, man? Adidas. I'm not really big on Adidas, but they had a couple of drops that was decent. But I feel like Adidas is doing what Nike has been doing for the last few years, which is oversaturating the market. I think the, the sneaker climate has changed tremendously, especially speaking on uh, the reseller market. As far as like resellers, that's that's just regular resellers in the hood. Your local resellers, they. Can Kind of, I ain't going to say catching L's, but they, they slowing down a little bit because of StockX. I, stock, I know a lot of resellers probably hate StockX, man. I'm, I'm starting to hear more and more about this whole resellers can't resell no more like they used to. You know what I'm saying? It has went down. And, I, and, a, and I'm cool with a couple of resellers, man. I met with them guys because they, they look out for me when I can't get my kicks, man. You know what I'm saying? Reselling is, is a touchy so subject because a lot of people think the retailers resellers buying all of the sneakers up. But... They come in handy for me for the simple fact that when the sneakers do sell out, 
you know, especially the limited stuff. The limited stuff gonna sell out anyway. So, you know, it's good to have you a plug. But y'all tell me who y'all think winning the sneaker um, race this year. Also, tell me what y'all think about the reseller game, man. Is, is stock is good for the culture or is it bad for the culture? Because I know I noticed a lot of sneakers that would usually be super hype and resell for five hundred dollars, probably five or six years ago. They, you can get them for almost retail on StockX and places like that. You still have your, your super limited stuff that you can't cop. Your off whites, you know what I'm saying? Your um, when uh, Sean Weatherspoon, you know stuff like that. And stuff, stuff that's just limited. But all in all, to me, in my opinion, I don't mind it because I'm a consumer and I'm able to get stuff for lower prices. It's limited cops or stuff that usually would sell out. I'm able to get it for 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 a decent price now. So I feel like we all winning, man, to a certain extent. It's just the resellers, they, they, the resellers got to hustle a little harder and try to get more, um, get more exclusive stuff, you know what I'm saying, to make they, to make they check, you feel me? Uh, anyway, like I said, comment below what y'all thinking. Now, like I said, I think Join Brand is, I mean, you have to think about all the releases that came out. I mean, they hit us hard with so many Join 3s. I love Join 3s and Jordan 1s. And they hit us hard with so many Jordan 3s and so many Jordan 1s this year. I was thinking about breaking out my uh, free throw line 3s. I love that shoe. And I'm and in, 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 in like 2019, man, I'm gonna start just busting out shoes that I usually will hold on to. Like, my um my Dorn Becker uh sevens. I'm gonna have to break them out. I still ain't worn my 2012 uh, uh Olympic seven. You feel me? The um the the the, the black, uh, white cement fours. I love to shoot my favorite joint four. I ain't pulled it out yet. And I already rocked the black cement uh threes. And that's my favorite three. So man, I'm just gonna start like I said 2019. I'm, I might start this holiday season, man. Just start doing this undes in action. You know what I'm saying? Just start rocking some of the heat, man. I was gonna wear court purple uh Jordan ones today, but I couldn't find a, a fit that really went down with it. You know what I'm saying? I would have had to tone it all the way down with like some all black or something. And I ain't feel like doing that. I wanted to have some little color action going on today. Let me turn this brightness down. This is crazy. Alright, there we go. But anyway, man, y'all come below and tell me what y'all think about these couple of things. I had to waste, I don't know, if y'all didn't want to talk about that, I wasted five minutes of your day. If you did want to talk about it, comment below and let your boy reach. No, man! So, uh, about to head to this mall. Let go. Yeah, man, this is crazy, bro. I just got to the mall, man. By the way, y'all already know what I got on here, figure. Got the, um, distressed uh, olive joints on, maroon guy. Y'all already know what it is. Very cleansed, in my humble opinion, of course. Um, but look how empty this parking lot is, bro. I remember back, back in the day, five, let me see. Give me about, what, 2012, 2013, something like that. A Jordan 5, black and red, I don't care if it's satin, leather, suede, whatever you want to call it. This, this part of the market, because this is where all the sneaker stores is at, this, this parking lot would be Fool. You will see dudes coming in and out with bags like ever since, let me see, probably about 8 o'clock this morning. Where they used to open at? 8? Yeah, 8 o'clock this morning, you would see dudes coming in and out of the mall with bags. They would open early. I kind of miss them days a little bit. I ain't even gonna flip, man. Like, I kind of miss them days a little bit, man. It, it, it feel like the sneaker game was a little bit more special when you had to work a little bit harder for the kicks. Even though we complained about working hard for the shoes, it just seemed like it was more special when you had to actually actually work to get them. You feel me? I don't know. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think about that. About to walk to the mall, man. See, I love being in the mall early. When you're a YouTuber and a vlogger, man, being to the mall early is the best thing because it may be people looking all in your face, people standing all close to you and all that. It just be like, bruh, can I do what I'm doing, shawty? So, okay, look here. Sapphire. Sapphire. They looking, they looking nice. I got to see them in hand, of course. You got the um, 11s chilling like a villain. All right, how you doing? Chilling. What's going on, boy? And then we got, uh, then we got phones. You know, so those are the new, the newest things I get. Let me check some of this stuff out of hand. As you walk back here, you see the Kobe uh, Pro Troll Kobe One. Those are starting to sit around, man. I don't know. Should they start releasing Kobe retros this early? Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think about that. All right, he going to get he going to get my size in the uh, fives. I want to see my size just to see what they look like. You got the um, Kobe's right here. Like I said, is it too early? Like, was it too early to start retroing Kobe? Should he been retired for a little bit longer? Or, or would you? Are we just not liking these shoes? Cause like, I don't like them. They just too 
I don't know, they too fat to me, I don't know. I don't think it's too early, I just think I don't like that shoe right though. I heard this foam right here was kind of limited, but it's still sitting, man. It's habanero, fire red, or whatever you want to call it, man. One cent action. I don't know, man. I don't know about them. Got that 12 going on. Yes, sir. You like these, bro? Yeah, I like I love them. You love them? That's sad. Yeah, quick look, look at these guys. Yeah, man, so these it right here. Satin Jordan 5s, man. The colorway is the best part about it to me, man. The black and red. I actually like the speckles. I heard somebody complaining about the speckle, man, but I got the 3M tone. Like I said, these were limited, bro. Folks would be, folks would be going crazy. Huh? I don't know why they didn't do it, because they did all the satin ones limited, so... I mean, it look exactly like I thought it looked. That satin, that satin got that reflection though. That that's kind of nice, bro. Yeah, that's kind of sick, right there. Look at that. Things shining a little bit. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, new buck gonna be ashy. This ain't gotta worry about that on there. Only thing I worry about is it snagging on something because it's like fabric. It's like material. If it rip, it's it's over with on these, man. I need I need some insurance, some 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 uh, quality insurance. They rip, I get another pair of some from Joint Brand. <laughs> but these dope, man. These dope. They, what they retail for? One ninety. Yeah, they dope. Come in a regular box. They clean, man. Yeah, we already talked about these, man. When I saw them at the outlets, we already talked. I just want to see this pair. This pair seemed like it looked a little bit better than the one I saw at the outlet, as far as quality control. It still just looks. Dirty already or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, y'all comment below, man. What y'all think? Y'all think these gonna hit outlets? Gonna sell? Like, I just the only. I mean, I'm in Foot Locker, so I don't know if they sitting in any other store. So, so I don't know. What y'all think? Look at these NASA vans. Like, the true color is not coming through on their camera at all. But it's like a, it's a real good quality. They got the top cut open. I mean, they go, they go that, they go that Virgil stuff again, bro. I'm telling you. But uh, it got the patch with the flag to come off of these guy. These are different, man. Like, got the mission. These are like the NASA. Um, these are the Space Center guys. These are the, they good, really good quality. And like I said, the color is a whole lot deeper orange that is, or darker orange that is showing on this camera right here. You know what I'm saying? But these, these not bad, man. I wouldn't really rock them because vans and chucks and stuff like that, they real like flat at the bottom. I feel like I be walking on like, walking around on the floor with no socks on because I got a real deep arch. So, but as far as, as far as dopeness, I, I really like these. As far as dopeness is concerned. <laughs> I got the flame guy. I got the NASA joints over here too. You can see the color a little bit better right there. And then I also got like the, uh, skate high is it the skate highs i don't know forgive me y'all i don't know about it. the eagle has landed got a nasa patch right here this is different man so i'm starting to like some of this different stuff bro i probably like i said i probably wouldn't rock these but i like seeing people being creative on these sneakers man what's going on man it got the astronaut kind of look going on to them yeah i'm just checking them out they don't they don't though i like I know you being there, so oh yeah, 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 yeah. That quality real good on these, man. That leather is flesh on them. They're straight though. And like I said, even when I was talking about in the call, like who's winning this year, you still I mean stuff gonna sit. Everything selling out don't mean you winning, bro. But what Jordan Brand did is what I'm frustrated about is I, they were saying. They're gonna start making Jordans limited again, and it just makes so many colorways still. If you're gonna make the shoes limited, limit the colorways too. But like I said, maybe this business model is working for them. I'm just not feeling so many colors. They did the same thing they did for the last few years. They just keep on colorway after colorway after colorway, and it just be too much, man. You don't give us a chance to miss the shoes, man. So they actually have the, um, the white NASA's too. The guy downstairs and um, Jimmy, I mean, Journeys told me that a dude came in here and bought these out of every store. I guess they didn't know. I guess he didn't know Foot Action had them. But he said every other store in the mall, he he he, he bought the white ones. So I guess somebody trying to build some kind of hype for him or something. The eighty-five dollars here, I just looked on StockX and it said these was like one fifty or something like that. 
going for that price. I don't know. Y'all y'all let me know what y'all think about somebody trying to hype up some NASA uh, vans. <laughs> Comment below, man. Yerps. So, <laughs> I ain't did that in a long time. So, I'm going to get the five one more time before I leave. But they still got they still got a couple things in this uh, foot action right here. They still got these boy right here. Those are, those are dope, man. OGs, man. They just, they did free. Point blank, period. Looking at the fives one more time. They, It's a dope shoe. If you like fives, it's a good cop. I just don't really have to. If they did something different, it just seemed like it's so one note. It just seemed like this something, this is a colorway that they would bring out. Like, it's just like, you can, it's a predictable colorway, but of course they did a set, and I guess that's, that was the thing that they tried to do to make the shoe pop. I just felt like, some other kind of colorway with this same material probably would have been dope or if you would have just made like i said in my video before like if you would have made these all leather all tumble i think they would have been fighting man they, they are fido like these are rockable but i ain't ever storing them all so they're obviously a general release so you're gonna be able to get these on stock for less than retail or you're gonna be able to wait around they're gonna sell outlets stuff like that so not saying i would never cop this shoe but if i get it for a really good price because i definitely rock it i like the shoe so um, there's that. This is the reason I can't sell my Gatorade ones. I'm just gonna keep them now because they don't sell everywhere, and I'm not finna let nobody get my. I'm not finna sell them for fifty dollars. That's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep them, rock them, do what I gotta do with them. Just just didn't have to have that orange shoe like that. It was an impulse buy because I wanted something out of the Gatorade pack. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted something. It was some impulse action, man. You feel me? Let's check out some feet, gang. Bro, rocking the gammas. I'm just gonna start checking out people's shoes, bro. See what they rocking. Bro, I got the eights on. Eights looking clean on feet, man. Looking real clean on feet. Got some New Balance swag going on right there. I don't know what y'all think about that. Just start showing people rocking. It's kind of creeper a little bit, but it, 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 it's for the culture, man. It's for the culture. I don't know, y'all come below. Or maybe I should just start interviewing people about their shoes, look down at their shoes and be like, um, what made you buy these right here? And what made you wear these today? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just start interviewing people about their shoes. Uh, Jimmy Jazz got sizes. One deck. You, 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 you. Bread ones? No, 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 not many, not bread. They was not bread one. They'll get you from a distance, though. He's like, boy, boy, rocking them breads, boy. Boy, rocking them breads. Breads. So they bumping that Wayne Mona Lisa real loud in here. Let me see if I can talk over it for these shoes right here. These are the Rookie of the Year Legacy 312 joints. Just bring me the OG ones. That's the ones I want. But, I mean, I like the colorway, but it's just, this shoe is just... It's, it's, it's really not the move as far as this shoe, but I like the colors on it, man. It's just, I wonder if these come with the red laces too, like the ones do. They should have did the tongue with the black patch on it, like the ones. It don't have the fold out right here with the Ricky of the Year stuff on it, so. But they calling these the Ricky of the Year too. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Should they have a Nike Air in the back instead of that jump, man? I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about these. So, we putting jump mans on futures now? That's what we doing? They're gonna be 11s in a minute. They're gonna be full blown. 11s in a minute. These is Concord, Concord, uh, or Space Jam Futures, man. What a jump man on that guy. What's going on? What, what, what's really happening? Trash. Boy, they done brought back the old Rodman's, man. These are the Darwin joints, man. They tripping. I remember I used to want these bad bad when I was growing up. These things look like some boots now, though. But I mean, they literally look like boots. Shout out to these with basketball shoes. These were the Dennis Rodman things. The back was swoosh. They were different, man. I look at these now like they just on straight up boot, bro. I wear these to work. <laughs> it's crazy how time changed with the, with the style. The joints, the joints can still get away with it, but some of these Nike, man, they 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 look crazy now. Looking back at them. What's going on with these right here, boy? I remember when these came out. I don't know if they were, what was going on with them then. But this canvas material on them, man, it's not making. It's canvas, and then it got like the new tech kind of material, like, um, I don't know what you call it, John, but 
This thing collecting this. See, dust tan. Like a for real, for real dust tan. Thick dust tan. <laughs> Had to blow them out. Make them look a little better on the shelf like that. Yeah, man, their lemons are in every oh, store, yeah. bro. Is this the longest uh, a, a mid top 11 has set in recent years? Y'all let me know. Is this the longest? Because that's these, these 11 mids don't sit that long, bro. Um, got them in here too. Those are going to collect the thickest dust layer of dust tan on them. I guarantee it. Still got the beef and broccoli. Still got them. Yeah, man, so I um, checked out the Jordan 5 Satins. I'm sure I talked about it in the video enough. They okay. The colorway is predictable. It's like something that you would see Jordan Brand make. You know what I'm saying? That's a shoe right there I would definitely get if it was on sale for like um, $115 or $100. I don't know. I, don't, I actually just don't need that shoe in my collection. I don't need it. I like it. It's dope, but I just I just don't need it, man. Nowadays, man, I got so many sneakers, bro. If a shoe ain't just just blowing blowing my mind going bow just looking dope something different something that i like i can rock with some fits and just be clean something different no i mean unless it's og jordans man i love i still love all my og jordans i'm looking forward to the black infrared sixes i'm looking forward to the bread fours if they come out next year but it's just like all these new colorways and these new ideas they got and this is just something that i'm just really really feeling i like the shoe it's rockable but it ain't just it ain't just standing out to me i want something that's gonna stand out them rookie of the year jordan ones to me that shoe it stands out it's a calm down shoe the colorway is not crazy but it's just it, it's just something about how they put it the colorway together and the materials together and the and, and just how the shoe looks it come with the red laces it, it got some it got some uh meaning behind it and it, it, they added, they did something different with the shoe. They made the flaps on the side go out. It's just something about shoes like that nowadays that I'm like, bro, if it's some, it got to be something that's a little special about the shoe in order for me to cop. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how I feel. That's my spiel. That's what I'm talking about today. The Jordan Five Satin Bread. What y'all think about them? Y'all copping? Y'all chilling? Y'all gonna try to get them on sale for under retail later on? Like I said, it's a dope shoe. And about five years ago, it's probably a shoe that I would have been quick to jump on. But now I'm just like, bro, they bring out so many sneakers, bro. So many Jordans, so many Nikes, so many Adidas, so many so many sneakers come out come out, and it's oversaturated to the point where you gotta really be selective when you're picking shoes, bro. Like. You got, you got to be something you really think you're going to rock. You know what I'm saying? Or something you just really like. You know what I'm saying? Something that you just, something that's just different for me. But anyway, that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog, man. Next up, I don't know what I got. Oh, next. Oh, I'm trying to get these uh, Ricky of the Year. So hopefully I can do an early um, early review on that shoe right there. I'm seeing some of the plugs starting to get starting to get them Concords, man. And I knew Concords, it's, they, they come out next month. So I'm, I expect them to, in November, for them to start hitting retailers and some of the plugs being able to get the Concords. So hopefully. When I get the Concords, I ain't gonna do no unbox. I'm just gonna do everything in one video. I get the Concords early, review on feet, re everything, unbox it all in the one video, man. So I can get that out to y'all so y'all can see how the new Concord is looking. Hopefully, I can get those a little early. But anyway, it's been your boy Mike Rich. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Shout out to Rich Nation, y'all. Some real ones, man. Y'all done been with your boy for a minute, sticking with your boy, sticking with my video. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation staying all the way up to the moon on them. Face it. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone.